the citizens of Judah and Jerusalem. The witnesses are the heavens and the earth. Yeah, 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 see why I, I get that. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. Mm -hmm. God's case is presented by the prophet Isaiah, who makes a powerful and dramatic presentation of God's charge. Now, when God calls the heaven and earth as witnesses, shows how solemn and serious the judgment of God's people would be. Rebellious children, God's relationship with his people is, is like a father and a, and a child. The relationship started back when God told Abraham to trust him. From that time up until Isaiah 1, God has guided them. God has taught them. God has fed them. God has met them at every need. Even when they sin, God has disciplined them and did all he could do to bring them back into the fellowship with him. Right. Yeah, yeah. Children have I reared and brought up. Uh, reared, care for until fully grown. Mm -hmm. In the Greek, that word reared means megalos, means to raise or foster or nurture until fully grown. God has has raised these people of Israel. He had fostered, he had nurtured until they was fully grown, even though they had been going through changes, drastic changes through kings that didn't want to act right, through kings that had their own agenda. It was all about me, myself, and I to some of these kings and 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 and, and Isaiah, you, you can't preach this word. You you know, you, you can slip around if you want to, but don't let me catch you trying to continue to do what God wants you to do. I'm the king now. We're going to do it my way. But thanks be to God, he always have a ram in the bush. Uh-huh. The, the charge of rebellion <laughs> reels three facts about God's people. If, if you would, in, in, in verse 3, it, it shows that they had less knowledge and understanding than an ox and a donkey. Yeah. Uh huh. These animals know their owners, as the Bible said. They know the person that feeds them and looks after them. They, they even know who holds them responsible for their work. But as the Bible goes on to say, God's people didn't know or understand him. Right. Oh, my God. It showed that they had sinful hearts. And in, and in, and in verse 4, it, well, in verse 4, it shows that it was a sinful nation, a, a people laden with iniquity, offsprings of evildoers, children who deal corruptly. See, they, 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 they were evildoers, not only corrupt themselves, but led others to imitate their behavior. Right. Yeah, it, it showed they had forsaken the Lord, despised the Holy One of Israel. Yeah. Now, now, this title, the Holy One of Israel, it, it, it is used 25 times in this book of Isaiah. Okay. Uh -huh, and only six times elsewhere in the Old Testament. The, the word holy emphasizes God's character. Right. And they turn their backs on him. Lord, how? mercy. It goes on to say that they were utterly estranged. Mm -hmm. Estranged means no longer close. Right. Yeah, yeah you, you, you have no more affection to someone. You, you have alienated that person. Right. Yeah, they, they no longer living with uh, your spouse. You, you, you kind of like you're separated. Yeah, we, we are supposed to be his bridegroom, right. living with him in us. But some of us are like these Israelites. We rather listen and serve the devil during things, doing things our own way. If not our way, then there's no way. Uh, have you ever met somebody like that before? Yeah, if, if, if I didn't come up with the idea, then, then it's not, I'm not going to participate in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he, he, he still thinks that 
he's all that. Or, or she still thinks that she got it going on. But as the title to my sermon is, you still have time. Okay. Yeah, when Isaiah announced this prophecy, the nations were still experiencing some prosperity. The judgment predicted here still lay in the future. Therefore, the people still had time to repent yeah. of their rebellious ways yeah. and turn back to the Father. Just, the, just like the Israelites were given time here in Isaiah 1, Lord have mercy, the Lord has instructed me to let you know that you still yeah. have time. God has given us or given them and us two wonderful gifts. Uh-huh. The first gift is the word, the word. All right. which they were to share all over the world. And so are we. Mm-hmm. You still have time. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and, and the second gift that God has given us is his son. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm who came to rescue the world from the bondage of sin and death. Uh -huh. You still have time. Uh -huh. The message here says that all believers who claim to love God ought to be his witnesses. Uh -huh. So we could say that we are on trial as well. Right. Now, now y'all done seen some court shows and you see the people who are on trial and and, and you see the judge, and as I said earlier, that God is the judge. Now, I don't know who's your lawyer or who you would want to be your lawyer. But as, as, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I, I think I call him Lawyer Jesus. Now, the, uh, now, I've heard a lot of people say that he's a lawyer that has never lost a case. Now, now I know some of y'all want to try that and, and, and see because some of us still dealing in our old ways and it, and some we just hard to, to turn her loose. Yeah. But as I stand here this morning, I got to tell you, you still have time. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, you might say, well, 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 how do I know that I still got time, uh, uh, Minister Weaver? I, I'm glad you asked that. As I, as my pastor would say, as I cut across the path and get ready to get out of here. Uh huh. I, I'm gonna let you know how you should know that you still have time is when your eyes flew open this morning. Yeah, yeah. You you still have time. Uh huh. Even though you rolled out of the bed and had the activities and use of all your limbs and 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 you got up and and you walked through the house and everything. That see that's a blessing in disguise right there. But I wonder, did anyone say, thank you, Lord? You still have time. Uh -huh. while, while the blood is still running warm in your veins, you still have time. Uh -huh. While you're still sitting in here in your right mind and you ain't over in a, in a nursing home or in a convalescent home or you in a padded room with a straight jacket on because you done lost your, you still have time. Lord have mercy. Why, why are you sitting here this morning thinking about everything else but what the word is saying? You're probably thinking about, well, what time do the falcons come on or what time do the braids come on? But as I stand here this morning, I just want to let you know that you still have time because cause the, the Braves game or the Falcons game ain't going to get you through next week. Uh -huh. it, it ain't going to remind you when when. Times get hard that you still have time as long as God wake you up. Mm. Yeah. Why are you on your way home uh -huh. when you leave here? Uh -huh. If don't nothing else stick to you, you still have time. Because who knows when you pull out here on the airport road, a truck don't come through. Uh -huh. Who knows when you get to the red light out there and you turn right or you turn left where you need to go. A truck don't come through. Uh -huh. No one knows the time, the day, or the hour. But while you still have time, how about we get it right? How about we just go on and, 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 and as Corey said this morning, have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. Boy, will he hear our faintest cry and he will answer by and by. 
Mm-hmm. If the Lord allow you to get home, mm-hmm. and, and, or, or you don't go home, because some of us might be sitting here worrying about, well, where well, I'm going to get that next meal from. Where well, I'm going to eat at, Sister Tina. Where well, I'm going to eat at, where well, I'm going to stop and eat at. Uh -huh. If the Lord allow you to get to that place, you still have time. Mm -hmm. Some of us sit down and go to eat and don't even think to, to bless our food. Cook God Almighty. Ain't no telling what somebody done back there in that kitchen to your food. You better start blessing that food and ask Lord to make it nourishing for your body that whatever goes in, it don't corrupt something. But you still have time. All oh, if you, if the Lord allow you to get from the restaurant to the home and, and you go in and you and you change clothes and you open your closet and you still bless see all them clothes in there and you change clothes and you go sit on the couch, cut the TV on, you still have time. All I want you to do is, is just think about this thing. Now, from here to your couch, you still have time. Mm -hmm. If the Lord allow you to get home. Uh huh. You still have time to say, Lord, thank you for allowing me to make it to church. Thank you for allowing me to make it back home. Thank you for allowing me to get this food that you bless me with. But while you're sitting on the couch and, and you're watching your favorite sport or your favorite TV show, and, and we was talking earlier this morning, I think I was talking to Deacon Levi, and, 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 and I'm telling him, I was like, S -s -s me, and, me and my wife, we, we don't Look at the same thing when we're at home. We, 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 I like sports, and, and she'll sit in there and, and say she's looking at him with me. But she in there. Uh -huh. Yeah. And sometimes I she, what you want to look at? I no, what you want to look at? I want to look at what you look at. And, and, and like I told Dee, it, it, I done got to the point where I already know what my wife going to look at. So I just get ready. I just go and sit down. She'd be like, what you want to look at? I said, we all right. Let's look at this. I, I can laugh and or I can look at the law and order, the, the closure, the the the, um, the reruns. <laughs> Two and a half men. I, I can look at all this. But I'm thankful that he gave me the time to sit there and enjoy whatever she liked to look at. Right. We still have time. Why are you getting ready for bed? Yeah. God didn't allow you to get to the whole day. Yeah. No hurt, harm, or danger has come to you or yeah. got close to your surroundings. Uh -huh. You still have time. Right. Mm -hmm. Isaiah predicted this thing for the future. You still got time. Yeah. You're laying in the bed. You still ain't told God thank you. You, you, you still have time. Yeah, you, 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 you're getting cozy and you, you, you know, you, you're warm and you, you're getting comfortable and you're about to close your eyes. You still have time. Even if in the, you don't tell him thank you. Even if you just go on and go to sleep. Soon as your eyes open up the next morning, you still have time. Now, I, 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 I wouldn't let this day go by. All the rest of this day go by and not tell God thank you. Or not ask God for forgiveness. Because the Bible says we all have sinned and come short of his glory. But we still have time. And and, and, and as I was, like I said, me and Dick Levi had a, a really good conversation this morning. And, and he was saying that, you know, I don't care what you're doing in your life. How good it is, how bad it is. God got you where He wants you. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And, and sometimes it, it gets hard to realize that you are where God wants you to be. Right. Whether you're in a storm, coming out of a storm, or getting ready to go in a storm, God has you in that predicament for a reason. Uh -huh. and, and, and if it's the same thing you went through a month ago, you didn't learn from it. You still have time. I'm just standing here. This my hope something touch you to let you know that that life is precious. People are checking out of here every 
day. From 8 to 80, Brian, crippled or crazy. People are checking out of here. Friends, close friends, loved ones. And, and sometimes we say they gone too soon. God knows what he's doing. God knows exactly what he's doing. And, 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 and you can't really prepare for death from a loved one. But you can prepare for when he called your name. You still have time. Because everybody, well, I can't say everybody, but one day you're going to be stretched out here. And if you ain't stretched out here, they're going to pull your ashes in a, in a, in a vase if you want to be cremated. But one day we're going to have to answer that call. Some of us might stick around here until he cracked the sky. Come back for his people without a spot or a wrinkle. But I'm encouraging you this morning, you still have time. And like we, like Pastor was talking about in this morning fulfillment hour, they preached about repenting for your sins. We got to do that today. We got to do that today. And sometimes, like like Minister Bond said this morning, you you ain't got to tell everybody your all your business. But if somebody going through the same thing you went through, you can you hey that's a testimony. Look, this is how God blessed me. Uh-huh. It ain't how I got out of it. This is how God blessed me to get out of it. Yeah. We still have time. Time is of the essence. And it don't wait on no one. Now, as, as, as we can keep tweeting our thumbs, we keep walking through life like everything's all right and, and, and everything's going to be all right. And I, I, I'm up right now and I've been down, but it's going to be all right. all right. But if if you ain't right in God's sight, you ain't repented of your sins, you ain't asked the Lord for forgiveness, and you ain't Ask the Lord to come into your heart and save you from this world of sin. All right. Woo. I hate to say, but hell is where you're going to open your eyes. Right. You still have time to get this thing right. Isaiah from the Old Testament preached for the New Testament people. Mm-hmm. Preached for today's people. Right. Mm-hmm. He let them know that. The Lord God is coming. <laughs> there is one coming. He came. And thanks be to God. He went down. For my sins. For your sins. But on that third day. He got up with all power in his hands. But we got to believe that. In our hearts and in our minds. To know that. God got you where he wants you. And he wants you to lean and depend on him. If you continue to think you all that in 15 bags of chips. You ever done a bag of chips like that? Yeah. Yeah, God can do that. Do all your 15 bags of chips. And then what you going to be? Crumbs. So let's get our, quit poking our chest out. Get our heads out the clouds. While we do still have time, let's get this walk together with God and, and, and with his son, Jesus Christ, that, that when things come up, instead of doing it our own way and keep taking the test over and over and over and over again, the song said, try Jesus. He'll make everything all right. He'll make everything all right. Again, I hope you got something out of this message. You still have time. As we stand up all over this place, you still have time to repent and come to him just as you are. I, I, I tell my cousins them all the time, I'm, I'm going to come when I get right. You can't get it right. It ain't for you to get it right. Yeah. And to be honest with you, he got you where you, where he wants you to be, waddling in your mess. 
<laughs> and he sent me to tell you that you got to call on him. And as long as you keep doing it your way, you're going to keep going over the test over and over and over again. Right. Would that be one this morning that want to get to know God, Jesus, in the free part of your sin, want to turn from your wicked ways and give your life to him? You still have time while the blood is still running warm in your vein. All you got to do is call on his name. Repent of your sins. Say, Lord, forgive me. Because I know I haven't been where I'm supposed to be. I know I haven't been living like I'm supposed to be. I know I've been hanging around the wrong people that I call my friends. But something is on the inside telling me that I need to say the benediction to those friends and allow God to give me some new friends. Because if I know I keep hanging around these friends of mine right now, I'm going to fall back into that same old mess. But will there be one this morning? I'm so glad all of us claim to be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's a beautiful thing. And if you're out there in a virtual world and you're listening to me right now, if, if something has touched your heart and you want to give your life to Jesus, it's, it's, it's okay. I, 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 if you know my number, call me. If you don't, visit Hopewell or visit any church where they are teaching the Bible and, 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 and get to know God. Come into his family. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, your friends going to talk about you. Yeah, you're going to change. But that's a beautiful thing. God going to take you to higher heights. New ways of handling things. New ways of doing things. But as I say every Sunday morning, none have come. But there's plenty of room at the cross. Doors wide open saying, come unto me, all ye who are heavy and heavy laden, burden and heavy laden. God bless your hearts. God bless your soul. Let us pray. Eternal God, I come, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, for speaking this word through me. Thank you, Father God, for allowing your Holy Spirit to move in this place. Lord, I just thank you, Lord God, for all you are, all you're doing, all you're going to do, Lord, in all of our lives. Father God, if there is one, Father God, have heard this word and Lord God has said, I yield, I yield. I can't hold out no longer. Father God, lead them in the direction that you will have them to go, Lord. Continue to bless hope well as a whole, Lord. Continue to allow us to be a beacon light in this community. Lord God, continue to bless all the auxiliary and hope well. Lord, continue to bless our past and first lady. Uh, through our words, our thoughts, and our actions. Father God, that we may repent and come to you, Father God. Lord God, continue to bless our ministry music, Lord, our drummer, Father God. Lord God, and give us traveling mercy back to our destination, Father God. Keep us from any hurt, harm, or danger, seen and unseen. Father God, we will be ever so careful to give you all the honor, praise, and glory. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, May it rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. You still have time. God bless you.